I'm on to you. I know all about you. What's all this for? We was done last week. Why us again? Quit moaning, Abby. Chill. Out. No. Sorry, Mr. Jackson. Just saying. Well. Right. That's it. Get this lot packed up. Get sorted. What is that wish today? Any money? Phone cards? Have you got stuff you can trade? Have you? Right, bring me shut it. Move. Sister out of hospital. Yes, sir. Thank Keep you, sir. moving. Good luck, Mr. Maynard. Happy does all right. Jack's at the control. Prisoner walking. We're at gate two. Is exit clear? Over. Yeah, clear. It's over. Thank you. Move through. And made for me all this. You can tell the man by the cut of his jib. Silk. Second only to a young woman's skin. Governor's orders is to be cuffed at all times, even inside the wagon, Mr. Jackson. Yes, sir. Here. You hand him over to security at. It's a fake, is it? You tell me. I will tell you, Maynard. Your kind made me sick to my stomach. It's easy to act big inside, but all you really are is a cheap thief. Your money stinks. Like roses. When you got it. This is all you can take out with you. Little bit more fresh. Yeah, yeah, get to her first. Yeah, you got the slides? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Are you ready? You okay? Little light spring. Five. <clears throat> Good morning. Last week it was announced by the prison authorities that the new governor of the riot-torn prison at Barfield was to be Helen Hewitt. And Ms Hewitt has joined us in the studio today. Good morning to you, Helen. Morning. At 33, you are the youngest woman governor in charge of an all-male Category B prison. Yes, that's correct. And as if that weren't enough of a challenge, you'll also be overseeing the government's plans for the refurbishment of Barfield. Yes, I am. Now, the press believe that your appointment may have been a publicity stunt. I do shadow. not believe that my appointment was in any way a publicity-seeking campaign by the prison services. Also joining us this morning is Sarah Smith. Sarah, you feel very differently about criminals, don't you? Eight years ago, I was raped and mugged only a few yards from my own home. I sustained injuries to my spine and have been unable to walk any distance since. My house was recently burgled, although the police doubted if the two crimes were connected. I was unable to deal with the terror that he had... A man who raped me had come back. But there was a reason for that, wasn't there? Yes, he threatened me. He said he knew where I lived and he would always be able to find me. And you connected the burglary with the rapist? Yes, I did. You see, by that time, he'd already been released from his prison. And how did this make you feel? Angry. Very angry. I live with a life sentence, not him. I just want to know 
that he's locked up and unable to hurt and abuse another woman. Monsieur, do you believe that more government support is given to the criminal than to the victim? Every victim has a right to justice. Of course they do. But that is not my job. That is the job of the law courts. My job is to ensure that the perpetrators are rehabilitated so that when they leave prison, they are no longer a threat to society. But it doesn't work. The man who raped me raped another woman six months after his release. Well, considering the cost to keep a prisoner in luxury today, it's uh, not surprising. Why doesn't luxury. the government spend more money on the victims and not the criminals? The main costs are to ensure total security so that a prisoner cannot escape and endanger the public. I do understand and feel for the victims, such as Miss Smith, and of course they should be cared for, but there are at this present time over 50,000 men in prison. We cannot operate a lock em up and throw away the key regime, which achieves absolutely nothing. We must at all costs rehabilitate all them so costs, that they do not re Sarah, Did you receive any compensation? Two and a half thousand pounds. Two and a half thousand pounds. It's a very small amount in comparison with the estimated £40 million worth of damage done during the recent riots at Barfield. Surely if the intention was to rehabilitate the men held there, then it failed. The comfort or the softly, softly approach... I have no intention of applying a soft in approach to In today's paper, it was announced that Barfield has been allocated £60 million for the rebuild. Surely this is an astronomical amount of money. I have not been informed as to the exact amount to be allocated to Barfield. Really? It was in the Independent today. Perhaps this is an indication of mismanagement? Sadly, yet again, the victims of crime seem to be the losers. Was anyone at Barfield informed? Yes, there was email notification. How could it possibly get leaked to the press without prior consultation with me? I can't say. It must have come from HQ. I would like to see those plans. Yes, yes. I know you are my area manager, but don't you think that since I am the governor in charge, I may possibly have some suggestions? Absolutely fine, I'll be there. Has anyone from Barfield been shown these designs? I really wouldn't know. I'm just the architect. Well, it would make sense to ask people working there for their input, wouldn't it? Well, I have only had dealings with the prison authorities. The new priority is to be the plumbing. Stainless steel toilets and wash basins to each cell. These men spend 12 hours a day inside these cells. They also eat all of their meals in there. It is totally insanitary. What's this? A proposed football pitch. AstroTurf. AstroTurf? Well, no wonder it's costing 60 million. This is a swimming pool, is it? This is proposed to be built inside the new larger perimeter and is a complete secure unit. Is it an SSU or a control unit? A sort of prison within the prison. You mean a secure unit, Mr. Greenleaves. In America it is nicknamed the cage, but from your design it resembles a four-star YMCA hostel. Yes? Speaking. No, I don't care what his solicitor says. I want Maynard cuffed to an officer throughout that hearing. Without more time, we were unable to accommodate your request. The hell am I paying you two for? There's no way they can freeze those accounts, is there? Mr Maynard, it's gone beyond that stage. You've been charged... I'm a declared bankrupt. They can charge me with what the hell they like. How much, eh? Now, come on, you two. How much are they trying to get me for? It's not just the inland revenue and value-added tax. Transporting anything is a very costly business. Now, there must be a way to salvage the original plan. I don't care what it costs. Now, look, this building here is under construction. And this one, too. Now, are you telling me that there's no way to get access to this area? We might get round it, but it will cost. They ready for the hearing? Yes, sir. Oh, try and clean me out. Let's go. There's no way that we can uh, get rid of these for the hearing, is it? You know? I mean, you know, they know I've been nicked, you know. No need to overplay your hand, you know, and uh, lose a sympathy vote, is it? How much? Five grand? Ten? No? Twenty? Final offer. Thirty. Large. <laughs> Just joking. Can you do it? I'm going to have to find one hell of a pint.
and governor in charge of an all-male Category B prison. Yes, that's correct. And as if that weren't enough of a challenge, you'll also be overseeing the government's plans for the refurbishment of Barfield. Yes, I am. Now, the press believe that your appointment may have been a publicity stunt. I do shadow. not believe that my appointment was in any way a publicity-seeking campaign by the prison services. Also joining us this morning is Sarah Smith. Sarah, you feel very differently about criminals, don't you? Eight years ago, I was raped and mugged only a few yards from my own home. I sustained injuries to my spine and have been unable to walk any distance since. My house was recently burgled, although the police doubted if the two crimes were connected. I was unable to deal with the terror that he had... The man who raped me had come back. But there was a reason for that, wasn't there? Yes, he threatened me. He said he knew where... And made for me, Aldous. You can tell the man by the cut of his jib. Silk. Second only to a young woman's skin. Governor's orders is to be cuffed at all times, even inside the wagon, Mr. Jackson. What's up, Herr? Yeah. Sister out of hospital. Yeah, she's yes, sir. Thank keep you, sir. moving. Good luck, Mr. Maynard. Happy those all right. Jackson to control. Prisoner walking. We're at gate two. Is exit cleared? Over. Yeah, I'm clear. It's over. Thank you. Move through. You. What's all this for? We was done last week. Why us again? Quit moaning, Abby. Chill. Out. No. Sorry, Mr. Jackson. Just saying. Well. Right. That's it. Get these lot packed up. Get sorted. What is that wish of it? Any money? Phone card? Have you got stuff you can trade? Have you? Why bring me shut it? Move. You hand them over to security at... It's a fake, is it? You tell me. I will tell you, Maynard. Your kind made me sick to my stomach. It's easy to act big inside, but all you really are is a cheap thief. Your money stinks. Like roses. When you got it. This is all you can take out with you. Yeah, get to her first. Um, yeah, you got the slides. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. Are you ready? Five, you okay? Little light spring from the snow. Good morning. Last week it was announced by the prison authorities that the new governor of the riot torn prison at Barfield was to be Helen Hewitt. Well, Miss Hewitt has joined us in the studio today. Good morning to you, Helen. Morning. At 33, you are the youngest woman.